side anyway. We'll come back and do some other stuff. So let's go to the other side and start by just getting into it and noticing where in your body you really feel tension. Do you feel it here? This is a big stretch over here. Do you feel it in the one we were just working? If you've got your stick, you can give it a little bit of a rub here or just use your hand and that works. Also, kind of like a sawing motion with the side of your hand is good too. When we're here in 90-90, I always want you to try to remember to push that front knee down. So as we are working on moving the back knee, it's important to try to push the front knee down. So the reason for that is that when you're activating the muscles on the front leg and pushing down into the floor, it helps you get more motion on the other side as you're trying to rotate. So let's go ahead and lift that back knee now. And we're gonna lift it here for 10, nine, eight, keep pushing that front knee down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, do a couple more if you started a little bit late. <laughs> and good, relax. These are big, big stretches. And now we're going to lift that back foot. So you're going to try to lift it off the floor and reach back and lift it a little bit more if you can. And then hold it up there. Hold four, five, four, three, two, one and lower down. Let's try that again. Try to lift first, then reach, raise it up, hold it there with your hand, and then get ready to let go and keep holding. Five, four, three, two, one. And down, if you're finding this is impossible, just sitting like this and not even trying to lift that back leg is a great stretch in itself. Um, these are probably, the, you know, one of the deepest ways we stretch out the hips. So just sitting here is really good too. Let's do that again. So try and lift that back foot, raise it up and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. All right, good job. Now what I want you to try is just seeing if you can alternate going from one 90-90 to the other 90-90. If you have to use your hands, that's totally okay. Use your hands to help you move from right to left. So you're gonna try to keep the feet relatively still. I mean, the, the feet are rotating, but what I mean by that is sometimes people will pick them up and try and reposition. So just try to keep the feet in contact with the floor as you move from one side to the other side. It's okay if you're sort of spinning around and end up facing the other direction. <laughs> We're just trying to rotate from one to the other. Let's try one more each side. And now on the side that you ended up on, so I ended up on with my right leg forward, we're gonna take it up and down. And we're just gonna try to go up onto our knees and get into tall kneeling here. If you need to use your hands to push you up, that is totally fine. Use your hands, use whatever help you need, and let's just try to go up and down for 10 more, nine more, let's go eight, seven, six. Squeeze your booty when you get up to the top, squeeze those glutes. Let's go five more, 
four more, three more, two more, one more, and then we'll change sides. So now we're gonna go over to that other side, give that right side a, a rub if it's burning. It's an intense way to work those glutes. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the other side forward and you're just gonna try to get up onto your knees and tall kneeling any way you can. Use this chair, use your hands, position your body in a way that you can do it. And even if you can only come halfway, that's good too. Let's go, 10 more, nine more, eight, seven, Six, five, if you need to push off your thighs, you can push off your thighs too. That's helping use your upper body. Or that's why we want to do that, is it uses your core and your upper body, it helps it engage better. So that's totally fine too. I lost count, let's do two more. And one more, and come out of that. Okay, let's give those, thighs a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a rub there. 